Hello, Diana. Hello. How are you? I'm really good, thank you. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. It's lovely to see you. Hello, good to see you. I want to talk to you about your single and your album. Yes, please. Let's talk about Cinderella first. Okay. Tell me about it. You've worked with Miranda Cooper. Yes. You've with Donkey Boy. I How know. Amazing. Well, Miranda Cooper, I, I, I basically wrote um, Cinderella was one of the first songs I wrote for the album. And we met through my old label, um, RCA. I kind of hooked up a session and Donkey Boys were working with Miranda on Cinderella. And I kind of walked in and it was just this kind of amazing collab that happened. And yeah, Cinderella's such a great pop song. Very kind of 80s and kind of a take on a modern day fairy tale. Yeah. It's fab, I really like it. Thank um, you. you also worked with David Gamson. I did. And is this where you came up with Boy in Paris? Yeah, me and David um, wrote that in LA. Um, yeah, he's, I love David, he's, he helped work with me and Miranda on Lightning Strikes as well, and yeah, David's wicked, I think he was nominated for a Grammy recently as well for the Kelly Parks and Tune, so he's a bit of a, a legend. Mm, I see, nice. Yeah. It seems that, you know, the people you've worked with on this album, it feels very strong, this yeah, album. Like, I think I've read before that you said that you didn't fall in love with the old album the way you fall in love with this no, one. No. Why is that? I think one thing, I'm, I'm a totally different person now. Mm -hmm. I am so more in myself than I was before. These past two years I've grown up, I've, be I've really become me. I've got this self-confidence and I, 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 know just, I just know myself better. And, and these two years when I wrote the album, I, you know, I fell in love, I got my house, I made more friends. And when I was writing, it just, it just felt more right. It was my first album. I think it was really great but I was still really finding out who I was as a person and still finding out what music I was into and what my sound wanted to be like but you know this is kind of like where I've ended up and, and I feel really it. good about it. Yeah, yeah. You, um, you just mentioned that you've fallen in love, has that influenced the album a little bit? I think it does, I think when you're falling in love you are just, you've just got like a spark and a magic kind of to you and you kind of mm. want to sing, want to dance and want to write music, it makes you feel alive. Share it. Yeah, because so I think that did really help me. Yeah. Okay, like I've listened to the sampler and I've yeah. said like it feels very, very mature mm. and I kind of want to say it feels very sexy. Yeah, it is good. I feel, I felt very sexy writing it. <laughs> but it does like, especially like I want to say like Mad at Me feels very kind of like... Very tongue in cheek. Yeah. And very, yeah, very cool. It kind of reminded me a lot of like Blondie. Blondie, like, you know how like kind of Heart of Glass where she has a like really cool riff. That was very Mad at Me. Okay. Um, are there any surprise duets on the album? Um, Are you not allowed to say? Hey? I'm not. There's, there's no surprise to it. So I don't want to get everyone all like, ooh. <laughs> I just kind of wanted to make this more. I don't think, you know, I, we tried different things and we would write songs and be like, oh, on this book we could get a rapper in and like, do that over it. And then we'd get carried away and we're like, no, it doesn't really need it. <laughs> no. It's mine. Yeah, it's all mine. <laughs> And you've had a lot of support for the lead single Cinderella, like One Direction yeah. guys have uh, tweeted about it. Yeah. And Jessie from Little Mix, I believe, as well. Yeah, oh yeah, she's so sweet. Mm. That's so lovely of her. I'm so grateful for everyone doing that. It is sweet. Yeah. It's yeah. nice. Um, you've also recently performed a song. It was Jade from Little Mix. Was it Jade? Yeah. My bad, it was Jade. Uh, it was, Sorry, it was Jade. Jade, not Jessie. Sorry, guys. Um, also, you've performed a song, uh, I believe, originally written by Lana Del Rey. Okay. Break my fall. Yeah. Am I allowed to ask? Is that possibly going to be on there? Can you tease whether it's there's a chance it's on there? Can I say if it's on? It's not going to be on the album. Is it not going to be on the album? No. Okay. Okay, that's no. fine. No. Um, you have said on Twitter that you've decided on single two. Yeah. When did you decide that? We decided that. I think we kind of decided that when we decided the first single, because then there was a bit of a torn between which one would it be. So. Okay. Okay. Um. I know that uh, Love Sounds Better Adventure has been very well received mm. by the uh, when you did your tours. Yeah, I love that song. That was very well received. Yeah. Um, ha is French and Paris and all of that still a big influence for the album, like you said before? It is. I mean, there's a few songs, obviously, like Boy in Paris and Love Sounds Better in French. And I, yeah, I kind of went all town and all French. I'm like, I just loved Paris. I just was <laughs> like, I want to be here. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay, that's cool. And um, will you be touring to promote this album? Hopefully, you know, hopefully if enough people buy it and buy tickets to come and see me, please do guys. Um, that would be great. I'm really enjoying doing the Ollie Merce summer shows mm -hmm. and the Comedy festivals, so doing my own shows would be amazing. amazing. Um, you are performing JY on the 20th. I am. Yes. What are you going to do for that show to make it a bit more? 
excited. Oh, I've got um, something up my sleeve. Me and the promoter, he's a babe. Mm. Um, we are, we've got something very special planned. Okay, well, I will do that. Yes! Just to say. Imagine. Um, you've called the album Music to Make Boys Cry. Yeah. Have you ever made George cry? Um, maybe. Well, George is a bit of a crier. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's, he's, he's quite emotional, so mm -hmm. I, I'm actually quite nice to him, so maybe not a lot. Okay. What are your three top tips to make a boy cry? Um, three top tips. Mm. Write a song mm -hmm. okay. to make him cry. Song? Yeah, write a song. Um, to make him cry, make him not play card Call of Duty for a week. Take it away. Take it Steal away. Steal his Xbox. That will make him cry. And what else to make a boy cry? Um, uh, oh, I don't know. Do you know. not like making boys cry, really? I don't like make, break up with him. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> Get rid of them. Get rid of Make him cry. Break up with him. Uh, you've done also, you've stepped into TV and film. Yeah, Massive. I have. The perfect wave. Really tight about that film. Oh, yeah. You've recorded a duet for it. Yeah, with yeah, me and George wrote a That's wrote lovely. A song for it. I know it is quite cute. Um, no, it's not as cringy as it sounds. It's just really, no. it's very like natural. We're just like you know in my kitchen and and like kind of sat on my roof terrace and like you just kind of like on your doggy bums and I was like, oh, that's very pretty and just kind of like started singing a melody over it and it happened. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't like too forced because I think if we tried to force it, it would have been a bit. Um, like weird. It probably wouldn't have worked. Yeah, it just felt very natural just hanging out at home. Okay, you're really busy though because you've also um, done a new Sky Living program called Give yeah, Out Girls. Give Out Girls. What's your character like? Because can you relate to her? She's I a northern can. bird. She is. She's very northern, mm -hmm. very broad, um, and she's just really sweet and endearing. She's 19. She's kind of like, you know, fresh eyes and really eager to please and. And I remember being that way, maybe a little bit at 19. And but she's she's not really blessed. She's very sweet, but she's not all there. I see. She's not all there. I think I'd like to think that I was a bit brighter than <laughs> brighter than Gemma. Okay. Is there going to be more than one series of that? Do we know? Hopefully. So it's a I, continuous. Point. Yeah, yeah. There's um. I think if people enjoy the first one, then there's definitely talks about a second one. That's amazing.